George Floyd's younger brother, Philonis Floyd, took the witness stand and gave an emotional testimony. He testified in an attempt by prosecutors to humanize George Floyd in front of the jury and present him as more than just a crime statistic. Philonis Floyd described what it was like to grow up with a young George Floyd and three other siblings in a poor area of Houston. He was a big mama's boy. Um, I cry a lot, but George, he loved his mom. He will always just be up on her. And, you know, every mother loves all of her kids, but it was so unique how they were with each other. He would lay, just lay up on her in the fetus position like he was still in a womb. Um, I would see him every day, and I'd say, period. I'd say, period, because we called him Perry instead of George. And he would always say, hold on, let me kiss mama before I come over there. And being around him, he showed us like um, how to treat our mom and how to respect our mom. The high stakes trial of Derek Chauvin is in its third week. An expert on the use of force testified that there was no reason to pin George Floyd to the pavement on his stomach. He also said that Floyd was handcuffed and had been surged already, therefore did not pose a threat of escape or harm to the officers. He also revealed that officers should have known that pressing a knee to someone's neck can cause serious injury or death. Listen. Uh, Mr. Floyd was a large individual and um, there was, uh, as we've discussed, ample reason to suggest uh, to a reasonable officer that he may be impaired by alcohol or drugs. Um, but no officers in this situation and a reasonable officer would have perceived in this situation that they could maintain control of him without putting a knee on his neck or keeping him in that prone position. No reasonable officer would have believed that that was an appropriate, acceptable or reasonable use of force. Remember, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for custodial death of a black man, George Floyd. In May last year, white police officer Chauvin had pressed his knee on George Floyd's neck for close to nine minutes, even as Floyd pleaded that he can't breathe. Floyd's custodial death sparked protests all over the United States of America and quickly spread overseas. People continue to demand an end to systemic racism and police brutality. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.